Well, hello, everybody, and welcome again to this OpenShift Commons briefing. This, I think, will be the most fun we've had in an OpenShift Commons briefing in a long time. Um, Eugenio Marzo from SourceSense is going to um, walk us through some chaos engineering tools that they've used and um, have ga gamified. And I'm going to let Eugenio um, introduce himself and take it away. And we're going to do this as um, you can ask questions in the chat and I'll try and answer them. Um, but we'll save all of the, the live Q&A for the end because I think you're going to love this demo. So um, please take it away, Eugenio. Uh, so uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Eugenio. Eugenio, I, I work as a DevOps engineer uh, in SourceSense. Um, SourceSense is a company uh, that works uh, uh, across Rome, Milan, and also uh, in UK. And we are a system integrator. Uh, we do a lot of stuff, stuff like uh, DevOps, uh, uh, programming, um, uh, big data. So um, today uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, my latest project uh, that is named the Kube Invaders. And um, so, what is Kube Embedders? Um, it's a, a gamified uh, chaos engineering tool for Kubernetes and OpenShift. Uh, I started to code uh, Kube Embedders because I was studying OpenShift API and game programming. Uh, also, because uh, uh, I was trying to generate some alert in um, using Prometheus. Um, so, um, uh, Kube Embedders basic, basically is a clone of uh, Space Invaders but alien ships are pods of uh, an OpenShift cluster. Um, uh, yeah, of course, you could do it uh, without graphical interface with a few lines of bash, for example. But uh, I think it's more uh, playful in this way. Um, uh, you can use Cube Invaders to test how much is resilient to your cluster and uh, how long it takes uh, uh, your containers to be up and running. Uh, this is uh, um, how it looks like uh, the, the 0 0.2 uh, alpha version of uh, Kubernetes. Um, you can see uh, below um, the, the number of running pods um, and uh, the endpoint and the namespace that uh, I'm using in this moment. Uh, so, uh, what, it's made, what it's made of? Uh, I, I, used, uh, I used the default. Um, for um, write for make cube embedders, but uh, why I used I choose a default uh, because uh, um, I, um, I was looking for a, a multi-platform game engine uh, just for a 2D games. Um, I was uh, I was thinking uh, before to start to code the cube embedders. Cube embedders. I spent many time for deciding what which platform I use. Uh, I was thinking to use uh, Pygame or uh, some big framework like Unity, but uh, I'm not a game developer, so I used the solution that seems to me the, the easy one. Uh, so um, default is, is, is uh, easy to use. Um, I'm confident uh, in coding uh, Lua, and uh, it's free, so it's, uh, it's a good choice. Um, you can uh, deploy Cube Embedders in many ways. Um, my preferred way is deploy it uh, in uh, OpenShift. Uh, so um, to, to, to deploy it in OpenShift, you can uh, okay, clone the Cube Embedders repository, uh, set the three fundamental variables, uh, the target namespace, that is the namespace that uh, you're going to stress, the endpoint, that is the URL of your uh, control plane uh, um, OpenShift, of OpenShift and the router that is the the root the route that expose cube embedders. Um, okay, you can create uh, the cube embedders um, project and then I'm creating two service accounts. Um, one is for running cube embedders, uh, the other is uh, uh, a service account to kill the pod in other namespace. Uh, of course, uh, I, I created a template of OpenShift. And uh, I can also uh, put the creation of this service account in the plate. Uh, just for now, uh, I also use a, a role edit, but uh, I can uh, make uh, a specific role for Cube Embedders service account in order to just uh, uh, manage some resource, in this case, pods, and with the verb, uh, I don't know, uh, get, watch, and delete. Um, so uh, this is Cube, Cube Embedders. Uh, 
This is an example uh, of Cube Embedders uh, exported by a web application. Um, how does it work? It's very simple uh, for now. Uh, I would like to, to extend functionality. But uh, for now, it's simple. Um, when uh, a bullet collides with uh, alien ships, I call the, the endpoint of the delete for delete, the AP endpoint for delete uh, pods. When, um, and uh, frequently I'm checking the status of my pods in, uh, in a certain, in a specific namespace. So this is uh, how it looks like uh, the 02 version. Uh, you can see in the background the, uh, the terminal in which I make um, OC get, OC get pods, uh, the web console, and uh, when a, a pod is not running, it becomes red. Okay. Um, in uh, for the the version that I install uh, inside OpenShift, I use the um, a Docker image. Um, it's from Nginx. Uh, the three uh, run statements are for uh, some some mod some changes for run to run uh, the image inside the OpenShift. And uh, kubeinvaders.conf is the configuration of uh, Nginx to expose. Uh, the, the, the web application. Um, if you uh, would, if you would like to, uh, if you want to to run the application on your workstation, um, now uh, we support Mac OS and Linux uh, installation. Um, from the release page of the GitHub project, you can download the the bundle and install of your uh, of your computer. Um, if you choose. To make the installation uh, inside your inside your workstation, you have to configure um, Cube Embedders, and so create the create a cubeim.json file inside your ROM and add the, the same parameters that you uh, that I used for the the OpenShift template. Uh, in this case, uh, inside the deployment config, uh, you can change some parameter and uh, make a new deployment. Uh, in this version, uh, okay. In this version, I'm using also one namespace. With, uh, but uh, maybe um, for the future version, uh, I'm I can consider also different namespace and uh, some interesting future. Uh, this is the route that exposes cube embedders. So, um, what's next? Um, uh, I, I would like to, to test. Uh, uh, cube embedders so also for other version of OKD. Uh, if there are some volunteers, please contact me or uh, make some pull requests to GitHub repository. Um, I would like also to to use uh, with OpenShift 4 and uh, maybe uh, also build a boot uh, for an upcoming OpenShift event. So um, this is the the link of uh, GitHub repository. Um, and um, now uh, we are going to make uh, a little a little demo. Uh, so, if there are any question before the demo, please uh, ask to me, or uh, we proceed to to the demo. We're good to go to the demo. Thanks. Okay. So uh, I will show to you, I will show you uh, the usage of, from uh, uh, Cube Embedders installed on OpenShift and uh, in my workstation. This is the one namespace that I will go into to stress. And uh, okay. Cube uh, embedders, routes. Okay. No demo effect for now. Okay. So. Now I have uh, seven uh, ports in my replica. Uh, the bullet is the logo of Kubernetes. And uh, so this is the, 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 behavior, the behavior for this version. But uh, I'm planning to make some uh, other functionality, like, for example, drain a node. Uh, like uh, when you launch a bomb, you drain a node, for example. And uh, this is the, the version installed of uh, OpenShift, but I can use also my cube embedders installed inside my workstation. 
and okay this is uh, that's all uh, so um, this is the link of the GitHub, GitHub repository and uh, please please feel free to make a question or uh, contribute to Cube Embedders. Thank you. Well, thank you, Eugenia. That is thank just th that is great. And so my challenge to everybody who's um, listening to this uh, maybe afterwards and who's on the call is um, I I don't think there's anything stopping people from deploying this on on pretty much any version. Thank you. <laughs> you have an audience. This is wonderful. Um, yes, <laughs> I did them. Uh, yeah, so if people want to ask a question, just um, let me know and I'm going to unmute, unmute everybody who's on the call and you can just, you can ask away. But um, from from what I can see in the code and um, from the commands that you're you're issuing um, when you, you shoot down a, an invader, um, there's there's really nothing there that's going to to stop anyone from running it on pretty much any version that we have of, of OpenShift. So, can you tell us, Eugenio, a little bit? I, I know you said um, in passing that the um, you had used this to test um, at a customer site. And what did the yeah. customer think of this? And, and what did you find out? Um, uh, yes, because uh, we um, we worked for uh, monitoring. Uh, um, uh, OpenShift, so we used Prometheus with uh, the Alert Manager and Grafana. Uh, at uh, just for fun, we um, we used Cube Embedders to generate the, some alert about uh, um, too many restart of a pods. Uh, so instead to make uh, I don't know um, with Bash uh, Watch uh, or C Delete Pod, we used the uh, Cube Embedders to test if uh, our alert are, uh, uh, was configured uh, well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so maybe maybe it can be used also uh, to test if your uh, uh, Docker images are uh, um, starting in a few time. You know, maybe if you use uh, uh, Cube Embedders for some. Uh, um, for ports that use an image that uh, takes more time, a long time to start, you know, uh, a legacy web application, web server, um, for example, a legacy web uh, web server, uh, um, you can calculate uh, how many uh, time your cluster uh, takes to be up. So um, KG is asking, is it possible to target only specific set of services for this, or is this pod uh, uh, Sorry, can you repeat, please? Is it possible to target only a specific set of services with this? Um, uh, in, this uh, in this version, no. Uh, in this version, uh, it's possible only, only to um, uh, include the all pods inside a namespace. But uh, I'm, I don't exclude to make uh, to use labels in, uh, in, in um, takes only, for example, services uh, or a sub subset of pods. So maybe in the next version, I will be happy to add this feature. Okay. And so there's there's one other question too, and I, I guess that this is the fun one. What happens if you manage to dis to successfully destroy all the pods before the scheduler is able to bring others to the ready state? Uh, what happens? Um, uh, to be honest, uh, uh, did did not happen to me because I only use the um, Node.js uh, images that uh, go up quickly, so I have to test it. I don't know. Ah, so there there is another challenge for you. Let's see what, what, what yeah. we're doing there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if you crash the entire thing, if, if that's actually considered winning the game. Um, but, um, uh, yes, no, this would be, yes, uh, I, I think it's a, it's a good idea. So you win, uh, you uh, destroy the, your cluster, so human versus Kubernetes, for example. Yeah, could be a good idea. All right. Well, um, I'm not seeing any um, questions here. Um, so I think what the challenge is, if, if you, if folks would go to the GitHub repo, um, clone this um, and and take it for a ride, I would love to get your feedback on it. Get your feedback. If you have issues, put it in the issue track issues and GitHub repo, um, or ping me, and we can connect you to 
Eugenio and, and get this going. And for those of you who are Red Hatters who are listening in, my personal challenge is I would love to see this running um, by May on OpenShift 4.0 for Summit um, in the OpenShift Commons gathering booth. So um, if you if you do that, hey, I've got plenty of free t-shirts and stickers and um, we could have some really fun, but I'm, I'm curious to see who's gonna let me run it on their cluster um, during Summit. So um, that might be the challenge is we might have to boot up a, our own cluster here just to do it, so. Okay, okay. All right. So um, also I was going to mention, um, if you couldn't tell from Eugenio's accent, um, that uh, he's from Italy and there's a whole lot of folks from SourceSense, the company that he works for there. Um, and um, if you've got any feedback for them um, and you want to reach out to them, you can get a hold of them and through Eugenio and the other folks on the call, as well as um, on September 18th, we will all be in Milan, Italy. For me, right? I have to travel Great. to Milan to host another OpenShift Commons gathering. And if you're interested in coming to that, um, let me know. And um, I'm hoping that Eugenio will be there and the SourceSense team, and, and we can um, gamify our way through crashing somebody's cluster um, soon. And that'll be lots of fun. So um, please, please do reach out to us and, and let us know. And um, it's wonderful getting to know you guys and the SourceSense folks, and we're looking forward to, to, to learning more about um, what you're doing at SourceSense in the not too distant future. So um, thank you all for joining us today. Thank you, thank you.